And now, from ABC2, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Hi, everyone. It's 8 o'clock. This is an ABC2 weather alert watching the potential of round two bringing in an ice storm to the region as we go into later tonight. There's the JFX at 695 right now. Roads are wet. However, a temperature of 28 degrees right now, so below freezing. And any freestanding water for the overnight hours is going to freeze, and we're expecting more ice to develop again as we go into the overnight hours. We'll take a look and show you advisories and winter storm warnings in effect. All of Baltimore City down towards Anne Arundel County, our northern suburbs under winter storm warnings, and included in that is Cecil County. This is just warning you uh, that ice is expected to redevelop and move into the area overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, and this could be a significant ice storm north and west of the city. We'll talk about that in one second. If we look at Maryland's less powerful weather radar, we're kind of in this lull right now. There are a couple of pockets of sleet and freezing drizzle being detected on radar just outside the city. So as, so as you get down towards Ellicott City, Columbia, you're seeing some pockets of freezing rain. This is actually drifting into the city right now, so that's going to impact uh, west side of 695 as you get down towards the 295-95 split. Off of, um, off of 695, and then more uh, scattered showers are developing in the form of ice pellets and freezing rain as you go north of Westminster right now, northern Carroll County. That's going to drift into northern Baltimore County. But if we broaden out the shot a little bit, round two of our system is now starting to push in and edge into Roanoke and southern parts of Virginia at this hour. So this is crossing 64. It's going to head right up 81, and it'll be in here in the next couple of hours. Notice what's going on, though. It's colliding with some very cold air on top of us, and that's why it's falling in the form of freezing rain and ice. And then if we look beyond that, down to the south, we got a ton of moisture to get through just to the east of Memphis. I mean, it's a rain train developed, and it's pushing right along the Arctic boundary, of course, overspreading some really cold air, and that's why we do think the ice is going to be a big concern going into tonight. It's 32 in the city right now, 30 in Woodbine, 20s up towards the Hunt Valley. So again, conditions are still at or below freezing, so anything that falls in the form of either ice or rain will freeze on contact, and that's why we're expecting a dangerous night to develop, again, north and west of the city. Most of our surface temperature south of the city is above freezing. Future radar modeling out what's going to happen through the course of tonight. Again, 10, 11 o'clock, we're going to start to see that precipitation out of Virginia overspread the cold air. So notice, again, heavy icing situation along the west side of the Beltway to the north and west of the city. It's a plain rain solution from the Bay Bridge on towards Easton. And as we move the timeline into the overnight hours, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, notice we'll start to see a transfer over to plain rain from the city, Pulaski Highway south and east, and then steady heavy ice that will continue over Carroll, Frederick, and down towards Howard County. And then everything will start to taper off to just showers, rain showers, as we go into tomorrow afternoon. So let's take a look and show you this. This is our ice cast model. It's, exc it's exclusive to ABC2 showing us about a quarter of an inch of ice could accumulate. That is significant, and what's most significant is maybe over a quarter of an inch of ice to nearing a half of an inch of ice north and west of the Beltway. So that means that uh, as we kind of see this ice accretion develop, it's going to accumulate on the power lines, it's going to accumulate on branches. What is going to happen? The lines are going to snap or the branches are going to come down onto the line. For that reason, we are headlining just outside the Northwestern Beltway. We could see the possibility of losing power for the overnight hours. So that includes all of Baltimore County, Northwestern Baltimore County. As you get out towards Carroll, Frederick County, Montgomery, and Howard County, this is the highest likelihood region of losing power for tonight going into tomorrow morning. And for that reason, we want you to download our Storm Shield app. That's going to keep you safe. You're going to be able to stream our, all of our newscasts. You'll get the latest school closing alerts. And you'll also, again, get those watches and warnings from the National Weather Service. So this is really going to be a big ticket item north and west of the city as we go into tonight. Your storm headlines, we're in the lull right now. Uh, we are also seeing some fog out there. So there's a, a, just a gentle glaze of ice on our secondary roadways and on our car tops. It's nasty out there right now. But again, round two is moving in later tonight. Heavy ice moving in from southwest to northeast. It's going to be in here after 10 o'clock for our far southwestern suburbs. It's into the city around, say, 11, 12 o'clock. Freezing rain potential shortly after. So, again, it's going to start raining. It's going to come down in buckets, but it's going to be freezing on contact for the overnight hours. Beyond that, though, we'll start to see a transfer to rain from the city on points to the south and the west, uh, south and the east, rather, but we're really headlining significant icing concerns for our far northwestern suburbs. We have more on ABC2News.com. We're back in 30 minutes with another update. Back over to programming currently in progress.